Hi guys. So I wanted to do a video. Um, I over the past couple months I've been leading a healthy living class at the church that I go to here in Grand Junction. And it was a six week class that incorporated some movement, just some practical movement. Um, I had people of all ages, all fitness levels, um, some with even some pretty serious injuries in my class. And um, I just really wanted to bring some movement into the class and make it so that everybody could do it um, with some modifications, of course, and just taking it at your own speed. So um, I have some movements. I'll just lead you guys through like a 15 or 20 minute uh, exercise. And uh, Lucy is <laughs> gonna join us. She's asleep on the couch for right now, but um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. For those of you who did make it to my class, I miss you guys so much and I hope you're doing well and continuing with your action plans um, each week. Um, and then for those of you that couldn't make it, hopefully at some point we'll be able to offer another class and I'd love to have you. And um, yeah, for anyone else watching this video, I hope you enjoy it and I will make another video um, hopefully within the next week or two to follow up with this. So um, you can use a, I'm using this stool. <laughs> um, you can use a chair. You can sit on your couch if you have a couch. Um, as long as you can put your feet flat on the floor and um, you can sit up nice and tall. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started. I'll have you guys start by sitting up nice and tall in your chair. Drop the shoulders. You can rest your palms on the tops of your legs. Keep your feet flat on the floor and start to quiet your mind and slow your breath. Drop your chin to your chest, letting your head be heavy here and feel the length in the back of your neck. Slowly lifting your chin up to the ceiling. Let the jaw fall open here. And drop the chin to chest again. And start to roll the head around. Coming into some neck circles here. Noticing any areas that might be a little bit tense or have any tight spots. And you can go slower in these areas. Really focus on breathing here. and start to move the head the other way, circling it back. And bringing your head back to center We'll move back, uh, we'll move down into the shoulders. So lifting the shoulders and guiding them back down, circling them up and back down. And start to roll them the other way, bringing them up and forward. And bringing the shoulders to stillness. We're going to lift our hands so that they're up and we're going to squeeze them in just gently here into just a gentle fist 
and start to circle the wrists around. This can be good for um, anyone that uses their hands a lot in their job, um, people that sit at desks. Um, this can really help to get some movement back in your wrists. And we'll start to circle the other way just a few more times here. And next we'll straighten the hand, one of our hands. We're going to take the fingertips of our other hand and press them into the palm. So we should be flexing our fingers up like this giving it a nice stretch. And release and switch hands, pushing the fingertips into that other palm. And release. And we're going to bring those hands into fists again, this time giving a little bit of a squeeze and holding it here for just a second. And release, flexing the fingers, opening them really wide. And we'll squeeze it in, making fists. And out. And one more time in, squeezing those fingertips in. And out, flexing through those fingers. We'll give a little wiggle here and we'll place our hands back in our lap for now. We'll start this next move by leaning forward and inhaling, pushing our chest over our knees. And exhale, we're gonna circle around, circling our rib cage all the way back, rounding the spine, and coming back forward for that inhale, pushing the chest, and circling it around on the exhale. You can do this and follow this movement with your own breath. And we'll start to push um, back the other way. So we'll start to circle back the other way, reversing that motion, pushing the chest forward and rounding the spine towards the back. And one more time here. Coming back to the center. We're gonna take our arms all the way up overhead, inhaling them up, reaching as tall as we can towards the ceiling. And exhaling, guiding them behind our body. We're gonna clasp our fingers together. We push back through the chest, straightening out those arms behind us. You can drop the chin here. And release those arms. We're gonna sit up nice and tall in our chair. Um, you can leave your one of your hands on the side of the chair. We're gonna extend through the side. So reaching our opposite arm up overhead, getting in a nice side stretch here. And don't forget to breathe here. And we'll lower it down, switch to the other side, inhaling up, 
taking a couple breaths here. And lowering down. We are going to uh, move our legs this time. So we're gonna move our legs wide up to the side of our chair um, and kind of push our knees to the back. So we wanna open up through the hips here and we're gonna come into a, a little bit of a side stretch here as well. So dropping our elbow to our thigh, we're gonna lean over, keeping our spine straight and extend the arm up, coming into a side stretch here. And tilt the chest up towards the ceiling just a little bit here. Inhale, push up gently. And we're gonna to switch to the other side, bringing that forearm to the thigh and sweeping that arm overhead. Gently tilt the chest up. And inhale, slowly coming up. We're gonna bring our feet together again. And I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see, but you can keep um, facing forward for this. Um, so I'm going to extend one foot, you can choose whatever foot you do first, um, and we'll start by circling the ankle around. And again here, take your time. If you notice any areas that are really sensitive or have a lot of um, uh, some stiffness, just pause and breathe into it and start to roll the other way. And release that leg down. We'll bring the other leg out in front of us and start to circle that ankle. Again, just noticing any areas that might need a little extra attention or um, an opportunity to pause. And start to circle it the other way. And release. For this next move, um, you may not be able to see. Um, so for this next move, we are going to put our foot on the floor, flex that foot up towards the ceiling, toes towards the ceiling, and we're going to lean forward, keeping a straight back here so that we feel a stretch in the back of our leg. So it shouldn't be too much of a wide movement, just a small movement pressing forward here. And release up, bring that foot in, switch it out for the other side, flexing the toes up and leaning forward over that leg. And slowly coming back up. We're gonna um, come into some arm circles here. So really getting into that shoulder joint and getting some movement into our arms. So you can um, anchor yourself with your opposite arm on the chair. We're gonna circle the arm up and around. Wherever your range of motion is with this, um, just take it slow and um, don't do anything that is causing any pain, but um, just go slowly. A 
Last one. Guiding that hand to the chair. We're gonna switch sides. So anchoring on this side of the body and starting to circle that other arm back. lowering that hand to the, to the chair again. Next, we're going to um, come into some breath work, <laughs> breath work. So um, for this, I would ask that, I'm gonna do it from the side, but just so you can see, um, we're gonna come into cat-cow. So seated cat-cow, a cow has a little bit of a scoop to their back. So we're going to lean forward, inhaling, and tilt the head back. And exhale, round our spine like we were doing before. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. We'll turn back to the front now. And we're almost done. We're going to stretch out the side of our neck. We're going to drop the shoulders and gently lower our ear to our shoulder or as close as you can get. And drop to the other side. And come back to center. We're going to inhale the arms up overhead one more time, reaching up as high as we can go. We're going to lower our arms, swan dive forward, coming over our knees, reaching for the ground if you can. And we'll slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll up out of this position. Our neck should be the very last thing to come up. And we'll do that one more time. Inhaling the arms up overhead, reaching as high as we can go. Swan dive forward, bringing the hands to the floor if you can, rounding the back, letting the head hang loose. One vertebrae at a time, rolling up. And the last thing to come up should be your head. So that was just a quick little, um, I don't know, 15 minute uh, stretching demo exercise for those of you at home or um, at office jobs. So um, feel free to share this video and um, practice it throughout the week, add in your own stretches and moves as you need. And um, I'll be posting another video in probably a week or two. So thank you guys so much and I will be praying for you all and thinking of you all and I can't wait to see you when this is all over. Thank you guys.